Spoiler alert, I mean, do we, how much do we give away? I don't Carrie? think much. We don't, we don't. right? No. We don't talk about plot or, no, right? No, we can't. No, we, can't. we shouldn't. We shan't, we can't. We shan't. We can't, we, we shan't. shan't. <laughs> we shan't. Hi. Have we met? I think I realized it when I went to watch it in a regular theater, not at the premiere, at, in, with a regular audience. And the ex excitement during the watching of the film was something I had never felt before in a movie. And a lot of the excitement was towards cool things I was doing. And so it was really surreal for me. You know, when Trinity goes down and does that, and, you know, people are cheering for her. And I just was like, it was very moving for me. I did not expect that. Yeah, I think that was the first time that I really felt the weight of of how people felt about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess friends. I mean, I think the first time that I felt like, I'll say one version was being at a friend's house and she had cut, her and Lily had cut a, a sizzle reel. And I played it because, you know, we were gone for what, eight months, seven months, eight months. And so when I came back, they're like, what are you doing? And I was like, this is what I've been doing. You know, and so I put in this sizzle reel, which is this highlights of moments and uh, my friends were like, what is that? That is cool. And I was like, yeah. Um, so that was the first time that I think from the outside world that I kind of had that experience. And then once the film opened, I, I mean, I know like when bullet time started being commercials, that cinematically something, I mean, it's, is it as big as puberty? I don't know. Maybe. It's pretty life changing. Yeah. 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 Life-changing experience. <laughs> Puberty and the Matrix. <laughs> Thomas? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. It's kind of sort of with a text and then a phone call. I guess my story about it is it's one of those phone calls where even though you're at home, you stand up. And you're like in your own house. Like, hello, you know, you stand up. Um, and she was just saying that she was thinking about uh, making another film and uh, asked me if I was interested. And it's like, What'd yes. you say? I said yes. <laughs> yeah, same with me. Text, call, standing up, absolutely. I mean, this film with Lana's, the ability that she has to tell the story is beyond my comprehension. It's really incredible. The layers of her artistry in the writing and then, you know, the execution of, of it all. I think you really go on a journey. It's, it's an experience. Watching the movie is a total experience. I think we both were struck a little bit by how much humor there was in it. It's, uh, it's throwing down the Matrix gauntlet again. And, uh, you know, it's super smart, clever, entertaining, suspenseful, funny, you know. The way that she was able to bring us back into this is master storytelling. And when I read it for the first time, I was with Keanu reading it at a table. You know, going to that reading, I had no idea how were we going to go back to this world. I fantasized it in my mind like three different scenarios. I, I, I was nowhere close. I would never have guessed in a million years that we would go in this direction and tell the story in this way. In general, when that zone, she, Lana has a real gift for creating this zone. Uh, this creative bubble. And once that bubble, like all the preparation has been laid down and then she kind of opens this bubble and she calls action, it felt pretty magical. Yeah, definitely uh, the way that she, I mean, I guess this biggest thing fundamentally was her kind of attraction to natural light, right? It's probably more than an attraction. She loves it. Yes. We were spending many days the ADs would be looking at sunset and sunrise and yeah. 
So I think that and this, she was definitely participating more with the movement of the camera, interested in natural light. Whereas before she would direct and, and be looking at things through the monitor, um, now she's standing next to the camera operator and she's moving the camera operator. You know, so that distance from here to there and not to, to be that kind of filmmaker is, is extraordinary, it's fast. It's, uh, I think she really loves that. And that's what I could really see too. She loves to be right in there. She wants to enjoy every moment of it. And you really feel that. And more interested in doing than rehearsing. So more, you know, we didn't rehearse as much. And then just kind of long do takes. it. Yeah, long takes. Camera running, and going back, and she's throwing things to us in the middle of the world. And it was as if she was a, she was completely a, another part of the dance. And it was, there was a lot of freedom in that as well. At least, at least I felt quite free yeah. with that, that style of shooting. Well, I was a passionate filmmaker and, and so knowledgeable and, and inventive and brave. And um, you know, that filmmaker developed another kind of style to her, how to realize her vision. It was just how did she paint? And maybe, maybe in the beginning it was more structuralist, and this was more abstract expression, but still kind of maybe still creating a similar form. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. Well, again, it's the training up to it that I, I think I'm the most fond of because it's, it takes levels of overcoming whatever you need to overcome. And I invested a lot of time in overcoming any fear of jumping off that building. And I remember sitting at the kitchen table with my husband and he's like, you really gonna do this? Are you gonna do it? And I was like, yeah. He's like, really? And I was like, Absolutely, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I know I'm gonna get there. And it was again training, and I wouldn't, you know, doing it with him, holding hands to do it, something I'll never forget. That was fun. It was really fun. You know, I don't have the kind of, you know, skill set that Keanu has. Keanu's like, has a masterful understanding of action. And I've seen him grow, you know, in the last 20 years. His way of doing it is, you know, I, I, I'm in awe of it. Yeah, I'm, but you got a flavor. I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, I might hurt somebody by accident, right? <laughs> so it's better if I'm fighting. I'm not fighting him, thank God. <laughs> they probably wouldn't get insurance. It's Trinity. It's Carrie Ann Moss Roy Trinity flavor. <laughs> All of the fierceness that you know, and mind focus and commitment it's there in the gestures and untamed and wild and controlled and, um, you know, there's a power to Trinity, you know, and you're Trinity, so <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, a, it's something to behold, it leaps off the screen. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started, back to the Matrix.